Good morning, Airport. I'm Jenna Driggers. And I'm Farrah Deal. And this is your Eye on the Eagle News. This week is the final week of AP testing. If you're testing this week, remember to study hard, eat and sleep well, and strive for a five. Class of 2016, we will be having a senior meeting during homeroom. Report to your homeroom before coming to the auditorium. With graduation coming up, most students have already decided what they're doing after high school, whether it's enlisting into the military, going straight into the workforce, or attending college. Despite the common assumption that students need to immediately go into the workforce or college, there is the option of a gap year, which is a year between high school graduation and college that gives students an opportunity to decide what they are interested in. We have Brooke Lowry and Farrah Deal on the different options upon graduation. President Obama's oldest daughter, Malia Obama, was accepted to Harvard University. Malia will attend Harvard after her gap year, which will give her enough time to decide what she wants to major in. With that being said, will seniors here be taking a, a gap year or go straight into college, or is college just not for you? The gap year will help you decide. Congratulations to our seniors. Make sure to tell us where you're heading next year via Twitter. Hey y'all, I'm here with Mariah, and she's going to tell us a little bit about college. Hey Mariah. Hey. So, are you going to take a gap year? Um, no, I'm not taking a gap year. So you already know what, basically what you want to do? Um, yes, I do. And what, what do you want to do? Um, I want to study biochemistry. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, it's a mix between biology and chemistry, and I hope to go to med school. If you have yet to pick yours up, prom pictures are available in Miss Winger's room, room 201. Early college students need to turn in their textbooks to Ms. Bledsoe as soon as their classes are over. Teachers, please be mindful that guidance has a regular schedule of student meetings and activities that are going on daily. Students can come to the guidance at the beginning of the day, during lunch and intervention, the last five to ten minutes of class, or during fourth block. Have you noticed that there have been more incidents of students receiving D notes or suspension? We have Sam Davis with some insight on why people do dumb things. Recently, the CDC put out their yearly report on the risky behaviors of teens today, but that information was national and not local. So airport staff and students were asked about their behaviors and the risks shown by students. But what are some risky behaviors y'all have done in the past month? I think the riskiest thing we did was get food right? Ms. Payne, is there a time of the month or a time of the year or really any certain time that you see students participating in unintelligent activities? <laughs> Well, honestly, this is probably the case and has been for a long time. I feel like a lot of times young folks have what you call spring fever. <laughs> um, so this is the perfect time of year that people seem to lose their minds. Is there anything uh, stupid that somebody else has done that you've seen? I've seen someone knock over the sign down in B-Lot and run away. <laughs> Mr. Street, is there a certain time that you see a uh, rise in unintelligent or stupid behavior in students? Toward the end of May or the end of the second half of April and right on through May, students let their guard down. Um, they're excited about getting out of school. Spring is in the air. They make unintelligent decisions. I think we have the, the stats to prove that, that we have more discipline right now this time of year than we've had all year. The staff seem to think that during late spring is when there's a rise in risky activities. Students seem to confirm that by showing how inclined they are to participate in these types of activities, all of which were done in the past 30 days, correlating with observations by staff saying springtime brings more risky actions. Kona Ice will be here during both lunches today. The boys golf team placed third last week at the region's 5-3A golf tournament. They will travel to Hilton Head today to compete in the 3A lower state tournament. Daisy Wingard became airport's second all-time leading scorer as she scored her 81st and 82nd career goals. Last Monday, the girls' soccer team traveled to Hanahan, South Carolina for a tough victory of 3-1, resulting in them proceeding to the second playoff game in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Even though they did not win that game, they had a great season with many great victories and many fun experiences. Their final record was 14-9. A special congratulations to our seniors, Mariah Austin, Olivia McCree, Brittany Rock, Hannah Compton, and Daisy Wingard, who is now the second all-time leading scorer here at Airport High School. A special thank you to the dedicated coaches, Coach Rivers, Coach Heather, Coach Lar, and Coach Morris. Good luck next year, you guys.
Eagles, fall will be upon us before you know it, and we'll be back under the Friday night lights and painting up in the parking lot. To bring the energy for this upcoming season, here is Jameer Latson with Carrion Richardson to talk about the 2016-2017 football season. I'm here with Carrion Richardson at Airport High School to touch upon a few things about the upcoming football season and the spring game. So Carrion, what really inspires you to play football? My mom. I don't want her to have to pay for college, but right now she ain't got to do that because I got eight offers. All right, what, what position do you play? Uh, I'm going to college as a cornerback, but right now I play receiver, cornerback, running back. I do it all for my team. Got to do what we got to do to be successful. And what do, what do you feel like is the key to be successful in football? Everybody got to be on the same page, and you got to have good team chemistry. You can't be on one man show, living man game. What, what, what do you rate y'all team chemistry on the scale from 1 to 10? 1 to 10, I give it about an 8.5. So, spring game. Come out to the spring game, support your 2016-2017 Eagles. I will be there in attendance, doing what I do best. Blue or white? I don't know yet, but I will be there number two. Number two. What do you look forward to the most about this upcoming season? Being BC again. Well, that's good, man. I appreciate, man, touching up with everything about football and all that, man. Yeah. So, yeah. There will be a practice slash meeting session at the AHS tennis courts from 4.45 to 6 p.m. today for girls interested in playing this upcoming season. Tomorrow night, our orchestra students will be having their spring concert in the auditorium. There is no admission fees and is open to the public. This Saturday, there is an attendance makeup day. Dress code applies and an ID picture is required. The B27 ceremony is being held this upcoming Sunday in the auditorium. The event is beginning at 3 o'clock that afternoon. Airport student Jenna Driggers has landed a spot in the town theater production, The Adams Family. Here's a behind the scenes look at what goes into producing a theater production. Can you do the Adam snap? The show. I am the medieval maiden ancestor. It's a fabulous show and everybody's having a lot of fun, so you should come out and have some fun with us. Can you tell us how many weeks we've been rehearsing? Uh, it feels like a million, but it's probably more like a little over a month and a half. So why would you do all that? because I really love being involved in theater and it's so much fun. What is your character in the show? I am Lucas Beinecke. Can you give us a brief synopsis of the show without giving too much stuff away? Well, basically you have the Adams family and Wednesday has fallen in love with me. Um, so mm -hmm. I bring my parents to their humble home to introduce myself and them and meet Wednesday's family and some interesting things occur along the way when we arrive. I play Pugsley Adams. Pugsley does not want Wednesday to grow up, even though Wednesday wants to grow up. Mm -hmm. So he gets into a lot of different things and it all works out. I'm playing Morticia Adams. Well, it's one night and Morticia and Gomez are having uh, for dinner Wednesday's friend Lucas's parents and Lucas, and apparently they're getting married, but Wednesday keeps this from Morticia, and Morticia does not like that one bit. And all hell breaks loose, and the Beinekees end up trapped because the dead ancestors create <laughs> a storm, and then it all works out, somehow.
Town Theatre proudly presents The Addams Family, a new musical, running from May 6th through 28th. Visit the Town Theatre's website for more information on tickets, seatings, and more. This is our last show of the 97th season, so come out and support me, Jenna Driggers, and the rest of the cast and crew in this creepy, kooky, and fun experience. Recent current events have noted the recovering of the boat that swept two boys out to sea about a year ago. Helping us emphasize the importance of safety on the open seas, we have Timothy Potts and Max Clark. Last summer on July 24th, the two boys by the name of Perry Cohen and Austin Stefanos went missing at sea in a 19-foot sea craft vessel. While they were out fishing, the boys were snapchatting their friends and telling them that they were going to the Bahamas, until a severe weather storm occurred and swept them out to the middle of the sea. Until a year later, the vessel was found off the coast of the Bermuda by the Norwegian multi-purpose supply ship, which was heading back to Norway at the time. On board was a cell phone and a tackle box, as well as a single life jacket floating in the water near the ship. The search for the two boys still continues. The objects found on board, as well as the vessel, will be returned to the family. To our fellow students at Airport High School, we ask you to be safe in the water. If you go on a cruise or another seabound vacation, always make sure to use these safety tips. Don't go far in the water without supervision. Always be aware of your surroundings. Watch out for severe weather. Always wear safety gear when you go out in the ocean. Always let someone know where you're going, and always make sure you have experience in what you were doing. The following video segment is Cadet Edwin Torres performing his individual exhibition with arms. He placed number one in the nation for this performance. Thank you, sir! 